Hey guys, this is Mike. It's my YouTube channel. The channel's about art, it's about drawing, painting, sculpture, still light. Um, this one's about sculpture. So Helen asked me to do a sculpture of a fisherman. Um, so I'm going to show you a simple way of doing it. And so the big trick right now is to find a bar of soap that's square. So it's our selection. Most of these guys are like rounded. You can see a picture. See the picture of the dial one. That's rounded edges. Here are the things you need. Um, you're gonna need to get yourself obviously a bar of soap. You'll also need a felt tip marker and a bowl to catch all the debris when you're um, carving it. Some kind of utility knife. Um, you can also use a kitchen knife too, but be careful with that because the blade is so long. This is a nice little stubby blade, so it's easier to um, handle. So yeah, Helen asked me to do a demo. Um, she wanted me to make a sculpture of a fisherman. Uh, she wants to make one for her dad, so I was going to make one out of soap. I figured. I figured you can make some really cool things and not spend much money. And a lot of the stuff you have lying around the house anyway. I only spent 99 cents and I bought three bars of soap. Just try to find a square bar of soap, that's all you need. The soap I bought is a little bit on the soft side, but it's all right. Uh, you just have to be really careful with it because um, you can easily break it. When I start drawing, I'm gonna draw his back first. And in case I mess up anything, it's so easy to fix. Um, the front side does a little bit more detail. So if I want to make any mistakes, I want to make it on the back of them, the back of the sculpture. This marker keeps getting gummed up by the uh, soap, so just wipe it on your jeans. <laughs> Don't tell anybody I told you to do that, though. Nah, seriously, have a paper towel handy or something just to keep that marker clean. So now what I'm doing is I'm working my way around the sculpture. Um, I have to make sure the front and the back line up, like his elbows line up, the bottom of his raincoat lines up. And you just kind of keep moving it around, keep flipping it over, seeing if you miss any spots. And actually, you should make a habit of that because when you start sculpting, you want to constantly rotate that thing all around. So guys, please subscribe. Um, that little tattoo on my hand, that heart, uh, just click on that at any point in the video. I like coloring my heart in with Sharpies. Um, depending on what mood I'm in, I'll change the color. So be careful if you ever see the black heart on my hand. <laughs> Steer clear of me. Now I'm gonna use a knife to cut off the big chunks. Um, you only use a knife to do like the big stuff. And then we'll move on to finer tools. Um, I have a pencil that will bust out in a little bit so it can get some nice details with that and also I'm going to use a toothpick. Just things lying around the house. I don't want you to run out and buy anything. I can't stress enough, be really careful. The soap is very soft. It also smells great, but it's really soft and it will easily crumble if you're not careful. But if you do ruin it, it's a three pack so you've got two more to go. It's really important to make the head round. You'll see that we need to remove quite a bit of soap just to make that head have the rounded feel. You don't want a flat face. I'm redrawing the sides because I carved them all away. I still need those reference lines. I just gotta make sure you know the arms line up, the bend of the elbow lines up. Um, also, I'm gonna be working on the angle of the arms so it looks like his hands are in his pockets. So I'm just gonna mention it one more time. Be very, very careful, because you can easily break it. Now, when you're working, like I was saying earlier, you need to keep rotating that thing around and look at it from all the different angles. And like the more information you put on there, the more things start looking right, and, and you can see what you need to work on next. Just keep working on it until you're happy with it. Here's the pencil, I'm just kind of digging out little areas. It's more of a finer tool to 
and get into all those little hard to reach spots and you can start bringing out more detail. I'm just going to scratch off the ink right here and try to clean it up a little bit. Don't need those marks anymore. Now it's time to give the guy a bath. And I'll just rub my thumbs all over and try to smooth down the edges. After his bath, it's time for the real, real fine details. So that's where the toothpick comes in. And I'll just start digging around, kind of refining things. So Helen, definitely the best presents ever are the ones that people make for you. So I think your dad would be excited with whatever you make. But if you want this one too, um, just send me a private message or um, find me on Facebook or Google Plus. And uh, you know, give me your address and I'll um, mail it over to you. The only thing I ask in return is for you to do a video response on this video and show me some of your artwork. I'd like to see like what you've been working on. And now for the rest of you guys, um, if you have any suggestions, um, please don't hesitate. Ask me, um, just leave a comment or something. And also for the ones who haven't clicked on that tattoo yet, please subscribe. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, wrap this up and I hope you guys all have a good week and be very safe and, um, yeah, I'll see you next week, guys. Happy Father's Day, Helen's dad. And happy Father's Day to my dad. Love you. All right, peace out. <laughs>